All right. Well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Coffee and Devotions. This is where every weekday morning you and I, we get together, we have a little bit of coffee. You got milk. <laughs> we get into God's Word and we grow in our love for the Lord together. And this year, 2024, Lord willing, we'll make it through the books of Numbers. Numbers, Deuteronomy, and Hebrews. Good job. Numbers, Deuteronomy, and Hebrew. Let's have some coffee. We'll pray and we'll get into God's Word. All right. So I'll drink that and you can drink. <laughs> Let's pray. God, thank you so much for giving us this day. Thank you for the blessing it is to get to serve you. Lord, we pray that we would have you as our teacher. We need you, Lord, to help us understand this passage and to apply it to our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so we are at Numbers chapter 13. Numbers chapter 13. You want to go ahead and open up in your Bible there, Deborah? Yep. That's kind of a big, important chapter. All right, That's so. Fortunate. Yep, Numbers chapter 13. Oh. All right, so what we'll do is we'll kind of split it roughly in half, okay? I'll have you read 1 through 16, and then I'll read 17 through the end. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and start there. Go ahead. And the Lord said, spoke to Moses, saying, Send men in to, to spy out the land of Canaan, which I am giving to the children of Israel. From each tribe of their fathers you shall send a man, every one a leader among them. So Moses sent them from the wilderness of Paran, according to the commandment of the Lord, all of them... All of them men. men who were heads of the children of Israel. Now these were the names from the tribe of Reuben. Sh- 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 Ooh. Sh- sh- Just do your bed. There's a lot of Shemua. names. I forgot about that. Shemua. The son of Zakur from the tribe of Simeon. Shapat. Shapat. That's fine. The son of Hori, from the tribe of Judah, Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, Jephuna, from the tribe of Issachar, e- Eagle, Egal, the son of Joseph, from the tribe of Ephraim, Hoshea, mm-hmm. the son of Nun, from the tribe of Benjamin, Palti, the son of Rapu. From the tribe of Zebulun, Gedil, the son of Sodi, from the tribe of Joseph, that is, from the tribe of Manasseh, Gadi, the son of Sushi, Susi, Susi, from the tribe of Dan, Emil, the son of Gamali, good job, Gamali. From the tribe of Asher, Sethur, the son of Michael. From the tribe of Nephtali, Nabdi, the son of Zophsi. From the tribe of Gad, Gil, the son of Machai. These are the names of the men whom Moses sent to spy out the land. And Moses called Hosea, the son of Nun, Joshua. Okay. So, Wait. what is that? Oh, oh, Joshua, the son of Nun. I was like, I've heard the son of Nun somewhere. Yeah, so Hosea is... Joshua. Moses calls him Joshua, right? So, it's often in uh, the Bronze Age that people would have two different names, right? Um, so, we actually saw that a few chapters ago when uh, Jethro is also called Ruel, right? Uh, so, anyways, so what's this whole, what's that whole section about? The people who were sent to spy out the um, land and it's one from each tribe. Good, right? So there, there are 12 men, one from each tribe. They're going to be sent to spy out the land, right? What land? Canaan. Canaan, right? So they've come out of Egypt. They've been at Sinai for a year. They have the tabernacle now. They're starting to march. Where are they going towards? Uh, Canaan. Going towards Canaan. And so they're going to spy it out. Okay. Well, I know this story well. <laughs> you do? 
Okay, well, let's go ahead and finish reading it, and you can tell me about it. Verse 17. Then Moses sent them to spy out the land of Canaan and said to them, Go up this way into the south and go up to the mountains and see what the land is like, whether the people who dwell in it are strong or weak, few or many, whether the land they dwell in is good or bad, whether the cities they inhabit are like camps or strongholds, whether the land is rich or poor, whether there are forests there or not. Be of good courage and bring some of the fruit of the land. Now the time was the season of the first ripe grapes. So they went up and spied out the land from the wilderness of Zin as far as Rahab, near the entrance of Hamath. And they went up through the south and came to Hebron, Ahiman, Shishai, and Talmai. The descendants of Anak were there. Now Hebron was built seven years before Zoan in Egypt. Then they came to the valley of Eshkol, and there cut down a branch with one cluster of grapes. They carried it between two of them on a pole. They also brought some of the pomegranates and figs. The place was called the valley of Eshkol because of the cluster which the men of Israel cut down there. And they returned from spying out the land after forty days. Now they departed and came back to Moses and Aaron and all the congregation of the children of Israel in the wilderness of Paran at Kadesh. They brought back word to them and all the and to all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land. Then they told him and said, We went to the land where you sent us. It truly flows with milk and honey, and this is its fruit. Nevertheless, you want to read verse twenty eight and twenty nine? The people who dwell in it are strong, and the cities are fortified and very large. Moreover, we saw the descendants of Anak there, the Emma, the Amalekites, 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 who dwell in the land of the south. The Hittites, the Jebusites, and the Amorites dwell on the mountains, and the Canaanites dwell by the sea and along the banks of the Jordan. Then Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and take possession, for we are well able to overcome it. But the men who had gone up with him said, We are not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. And they gave the children of Israel a bad report of the land which they had spied out, saying, The land through which we have gone on as spies is a land that devours its inhabitants, and all the people whom we saw in it are men of great stature. There we saw the giants. The descendants of Anak came from the giants. And we are like grasshoppers in our own sight, and so we, and so we were in their sight. So, Moses sends out the spies, and how long are they gone? Yeah, about a day. Nope, 40 days. 40 days. Yep, so they're gone for 40 days. They go spy out the land from the south all the way up to the north, and, they, and what do they find? Lots of grapes. Yummy, but then they come back, and they're like, Yeah, it's pretty good. There's only one problem, though. The people. Yeah, right. There's only one problem. The people, right? And what are they saying the people are like? They're like... We're like grasshoppers in their sight. Like, they could just, like, take their thumb and squish us. That's right. They could just take their thumb and squish us. Who's, who's the main one who says that's not what's going on? Caleb. Yeah, what's Caleb say? Oh, the Lord's with us. We can conquer this place. That's right. And but the other guys are like, <laughs> yeah. Right. But had God trusted them that they would chase and one man would would go to war and a hundred would flee from them? Yeah. Right. If they trust the Lord, that's what would happen. But is that what they're believing? No. Right. The majority of the spies don't believe it. Well, I thought Joshua gave. Was with Caleb. Yeah. Yeah, we actually read later that Joshua joins Caleb in this, right? So there's ten against two. Right? So it's a one to six. Well, that's not fair. 
Yeah, right? So, so this is a hard thing. Or one against five, sorry. Okay, so if you so common denominator, 12 oh. divided by 2 would be 6. Yeah. And so there's one one group 4 and, and five groups against them. If you just make it smaller. Yeah, okay. So, right, so the point is, they're outnumbered. Who do you think the people are going to listen to? The 10 other spies. Now you're going to listen to the 10 other spies. Well, what do you think is the... Uh, best first to summarize this whole section. Um, probably 27 and 28. You know, I've got 27. I don't have 27 underlined, but I have 28 and 29 underlined. So, yeah. Uh, what do you think this calls us to do, right? Um, not be afraid. Yeah, right? Sometimes does God put us in what looks like impossible situations? But... We, if we're following the Lord, is it impossible? I think what they thought was, oh, the wise, de the wise decision would be just to stay away. Mm-hmm. But? But the Lord had promised them the land. Yeah, so if we're following after God's promises, do we need to be afraid? No, right? We can trust the Lord and follow after Him. Do you think that's easy? I think it took a lot of courage for Caleb and Joshua. Right? It took a lot of courage and a lot of faith to follow the Lord. But did Moses? We're going to find out what the Lord does next. Okay. Right? So, uh, so it's going to take a lot of faith. Does it take a lot of faith now? Yeah, right? What, what if somebody thinks that they're called to be a missionary? Does it take faith to trust the Lord and go? Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, yeah. What about if somebody's called to leave father and mother and go uh, help in a church somewhere? That'd be hard. Yeah. Okay. Right, but can we trust the Lord? Yeah. You ready to pray? Do you want to pray for us or do you want me to pray? I can pray. Okay. Lord, we pray that we would trust you. Lord, we thank you that where you lead, we can follow. That where you have promised, you will make it good. So, Father, we pray that we would follow after you. That you would fill us with your spirit. That we know that where our Lord Jesus Christ leads us, we will be safe. And there will be rewards. For you are our covenant-keeping God. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, may the Lord bless you as you seek to follow him in your life. And we'll see you next time. Let me say bye. 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 Thanks for listening to this week's message from God's Word for You, a ministry of Sharon R.P. Church in rural Southeast Iowa. We pray that the message would be used by God to transform your faith in your life this week. If you'd like to get more information about us, feel free to go to the website, SharonRPC.org. We'd love to invite you to worship with us. Our worship time is 10 a.m. every Sunday at 25204 160th Avenue, Morning Sun, Iowa, 52640. May God richly bless you this week.